worship you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. We adore you, Lord. Rebus Katoni Mazidia, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, He who was, who is, and who is to come, that is mighty in word and mighty indeed, the one that spake and it was done. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We bless your name. We exalt you. We magnify you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your voice and lift up your hands. Before the, he who sets up the kings and brings down kings, who changes the times and the season, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is our rock and our fortress. He is our source, our strength, and our song. There is no one like you. The God of Jeshua who rises in the excellency of his power, Mighty in word and mighty in deed. He's the one that spake and it was done, that commanded and he stood fast, that declared and was established. Can you lift up your hands before him and just bless his name and just worship him and just appreciate him and just thank him. Hallelujah. I just thank him. Thank him. Hallelujah. Thank him. Hallelujah. For letting you see another beautiful day. Thank him. Hallelujah. For your loved ones, your family, and your friends, thank him, hallelujah, that you can freely worship. Thank him for the privilege of coming into his presence, of having this access through the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice and thank him. Hallelujah. For hearing your prayers, hallelujah, and for answering your prayers, we give you glory, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. In Jesus' name, we worship. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Can I hear a believing amen? amen? Can I hear a powerful amen? amen? This is your day of divine settlement. Tell somebody, this is my day of divine settlement. God will tie up all the loose ends in your life. In Jesus' name. Say it again. Say, this is my day of divine settlement. God will tie up all the loose ends in my life. In Jesus' name. Can I hear a better amen? Can I hear a believing amen? Psalm 119 verse 98 says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Amen. But... The word shouldn't just be settled in heaven, it should also be settled on the earth. Because when the world is settled in your life, every issue in your life will be settled. Amen. Can I hear an amen to that? I say when the world is settled in your life, every other issue in your life will be settled. Amen. Can I hear an amen to that? Amen. So you want to pray that prayer with me and say, Lord, let your word be settled in my life and in the life of my family. Let your word be established in my life and in the life of my family. Let your word become, the Bible says, and the word became flesh. Let your word become a part of me. Amen. Let it become flesh in my life. Let it become flesh in me. In the name of Jesus. Can I hear an amen to that? So lift up your voices with me and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your word be settled in my life and in that of my family. Today, in Jesus' name, open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Say, Father, let your word be settled. Let your word be settled. In my life. <laughs> Until the word of Joseph was, the word of God was settled in Joseph's life. He was still in prison. But when he was settled, he sorted him out. The Bible says the word of God located him. Father, let your word be settled in my life and in that of my family. Let your word be settled in my mind. Let your word be settled in my decisions and in my choices. Let your word be settled. 
Lekonde Gradaske Tone Mazidia. In my life today, Mande Brodoske Paramazi, so that all the issues in my life will be settled. Let your word, La Gonde Bradoske, be settled, Lord, in my life, in my family, in my job, in my businesses. Hallelujah. Lekonde, in my finances, in my emotions, let your word take preeminence and prevail and be settled in my life. Le Conte Sete, Ragande Bradoske, Tande Bosketoria, Likando Zidige, Mandeske Promosidia. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Can I hear a better amen? amen? The word of God will break every rebellious bone in your love body and in your life. In Jesus' name. And be established in you. In Jesus' name. Can I hear a better amen? amen? But it's one thing for the word to be settled in you. It's another thing for you to be settled in the word. Jesus said, he said, If ye abide in me, and my word abide in you, he said, you shall ask whatever you want, and it shall be done. How many of you like to ask whatever you want and if things happen? Exactly, that's the formula, that's the key. Amen. So you want the word, you want to also be settled in the word. Can I hear an amen to that? In Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14, it says, A righteousness shall thou be established. Thou shalt be far from oppression. See, when you're established in righteousness, you'll be far from oppression. No devil will thrive in your environment. No devil will thrive in your home. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear a believing amen to that? Somebody shout hallelujah. So we want to pray another pray. That the Lord settle me in your word. Establish me in righteousness. Plant me in your house. Because Psalm 92 verse 13 says that those that are planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish. How many of you want to flourish? You got to be planted. Got to be planted. Say so those that are planted in the house of God, say they shall flourish like the palm tree. Can I hear an amen to that? So I want you to open your mouth. Amen. And pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, settle me in your word. Establish me in righteousness. Plant me in your house. In Jesus' name. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and begin to pray. Open your mind and say, Father, settle me in your word. La Gonde Bradoske. Settle me in your word. Likata Bradoske. Establish me in righteousness. Mande Bradoske. So I will be far from oppression. Plant me in your house. La Conte Ladeske. Mande Zete. Plant me in your house. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. And talk to God. Say, Father, settle me in your word. Establish me in your word. Plant me in your house. Establish me in righteousness. La Gonde Gradoske Poromosidi. Makata Seteria. Settle me, Lord. Settle us, Lord, in your word. Re Gonde Brade. Le Conte Seteske. Palazidia. Settle us, Lord, in your word. La Cando Zidia. Mandeske Promosidia. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a better amen? Ezekiel chapter 36 verse 11 says, And I will multiply upon you man and beast, and they shall increase and bring fruit, and I will settle you. God promised to settle you. Amen. Amen. In 1 Peter 5 10, it says, But the God of all grace, who hath called us unto his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. Can I hear an amen to that? Can I hear an amen to that? After you have suffered a while, it means suffering is only permitted to last for a while. Has anybody suffered here for a while? Then that suffering has no right to remain. Can I hear an amen to that? I said that suffering is terminated. In the name of Jesus. So you're going to pray this final prayer. You're going to say, Lord, tie up all the loose ends in my life. 
I don't know what end in your life is loose. Maybe it's your marriage. Maybe it's your finances. Maybe it's your debt. Whatever it is. Amen. Maybe it's your job. Maybe it's your career. Maybe it's your health. You're going to say, Lord, tie up the loose ends. You're the, you're the divine settler. Settle me. Tie up the loose ends in my life. So put your mouth and pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, tie up all the loose ends in my life today in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. And if you know those specific loose ends, call that loose end out and say, Father, tie up the loose end, my loose ends. In my marriage, tie up my loose ends. The Bible says that he sets the solitaries in family. So, Lord, set me, Lord. Tie up this loose end. Mande Brodoske. Settle me, Lord. The Kando Gradoske. Tie up that loose end. Mande Resolve this issue. Rekote Mazeti. Mande Grodoske Poromoshede. Resolve this issue. Likando Gradoske Paramazidi. Resolve this issue. Lira Tasko Tande Lahiria. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. La Gonde Zedia. Resolve this issue. Settle me, Lord. Tie up the loose ends. Whatever it is you want him to tie up, ask him to tie it up now. Mande Gradoske. Le Brodaske. Mare Gradoske Tonde. Ribra Sindiske Promoshidi. Katoske Tonde Lahiria. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a better amen? Can I hear a believing amen? Can I hear a powerful amen? The Lord will tie up all your loose ends. In Jesus' name. I said the Lord will tie up all your loose ends. In Jesus' name. Now, the word settle means to resolve definitely and conclusively. So, every unresolved issue in your life, today, by divine decree, they are resolved definitely and conclusively in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a better amen? Can I hear a better amen? amen? It also means to place in a desired state or in order. So any dis, anything that is disorderly in your life, anything in your life that is not in a desired state, today I decree in the name of Jesus that they will be brought to order in Jesus' name. Can I hear a better amen? Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? To settle also means to pay a bill. So every debt, by supernatural provision, by supernatural provision, today they are settled in the name of Jesus. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Can I hear a believing amen? amen? It also means to cause, to take up residence or to establish. So everyone with a residential issue in this country, today that is settled in Jesus' name. Can I hear a better amen? Can I hear a better amen? It also means to quiet, to calm, to bring to rest. Therefore, every agitation, every battle, every unrest, every nervousness, every stormy issue around your life. Today I speak peace unto them in the name of Jesus. Every war in your life is coming, is settling, is coming to rest, is ceasing today in Jesus' name. Every battle in your life is stopping today in Jesus' name. It also means to stop from opposing. So today, we silence every opposition. Amen. Every opposition in your life is silenced. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. If you're in line for a marital miracle today, your marital instability is brought to settlement. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God is settling you maritally in Jesus' name. 
those that want to be settled maritally, God is settling you today maritally in Jesus' name. Amen. By divine favor, your spouse will find you. You will find your spouse in Jesus' name. Amen. And be married in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear a better amen? amen? Whatever area of your life is still hanging, today I speak rest. I speak peace. I decree the nine area of your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Can I hear a better amen? Lift up your hands and give God thanks. Lift up your hands and give him praise. Lift up your hands and give him praise. And bless his name and thank him and thank him and thank him. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody with pressure on the back of your head some kind of pressure on the back of your head God is healing you now in the name of Jesus if you are that person check it it is gone in the name of Jesus